Alrighty, Billy Bedlam 66 reporting in here. We're looking at uh, election results. Uh, not something that we can actually have, uh, you know, until days after the election. Now I'm going to home in here on the website. This is a secret website. You cannot get to this with a search engine. Uh, looks like Alex Jones and crew first found this. I think it was one of his producers or something that found this. And there's two different ones, FTP Content 2 and FTP Content 4. Content 2 has nothing in it, but Content 4, as you can see, they show all the different things here, and these are the U.S. House of Reps. Now, there's zero precincts reporting in for this one. But now, as we go down, you're going to see electoral colleges uh, not reporting in yet. Okay, medical marijuana, 100% or 0% are reporting, and yet they've got all the numbers up here. So how do they have medical marijuana winning uh, if 0% of the uh, precincts are reporting in? And then we have the uh, amendment to the medical marijuana, AR, 0% uh, precincts reporting in, but yet look at over here. We have 468,000 and some, 55% to 45%. How's it possible as 0% of the precincts are reporting in to have those kinds of numbers? Then you have the U.S. House of Tennessee District number 1, 100% reporting in. Uh, guys, you can't have numbers like this until well after the election is over. I mean, you can kind of, of gauge it and project it early on. Usually within a couple of days of November 8th, uh, you can predict that. But not this far out. We're still five, six days away. Okay, so we go down here, Tennessee District, blah, blah, blah. 100% reporting in. You can't, once again, there's just no way to have this. Not yet. And then we have Tennessee, more of the Tennessee, 100%. And then you come down here and you have District 8, 0% reporting in, but look at all the numbers. How can you have all those numbers if 0% have reported in? Okay, so you have 100%, 100%, 100% reporting in. Uh, this is clearly impossible at this time to have that many people reporting in. Now we get to the U.S. presidential election, and you have 100% reporting in, and Trump is slightly ahead at 715,000 in, in uh, Alabama. In Alaska, you have Donald Trump uh, winning in Alaska. Uh, and this, and this, they're saying this is 100% reporting in. 100%. Arizona, 100% reporting in, and Trump has beat Hillary again. Uh, Arkansas, Hillary Clinton is beating Trump there, and 100% have reported in. Clearly impossible. California, they have Hillary in the lead with 4 million, a little over 4 million at 45%. 100% reporting in. There's just no way that this can be done. In Colorado, Hillary is beating Trump 450,000 to 367,000, 100% reporting in. You, you just can't have this yet. This is not possible. This is obvious. The obviously graphics that are going to be showing either on election night or a couple of days beyond that. And these are 100% reporting in. You cannot have this type of thing. This is impossible. Uh, they have Trump winning again in Delaware. They have Hillary winning in the District of Columbia, 100% uh, showing up there. Hillary in Florida, uh, Trump in Georgia, Hawaii, Hillary again, 100% reporting in. Idaho, 100% reporting in for Donald Trump. Illinois, 100% reporting in, and you have supposedly Trump again. Indiana, Hillary Clinton is winning with a million votes to his 957,000, 100% reporting in. And you just go down the list here, and the little red arrow shows who's in the lead. Hillary's in the lead in Kansas. Trump is in the lead in Kentucky, 100% reporting in. Hillary in Louisiana, 100% reporting in. Uh, the president, U.S. President Maine, 100% reporting in. Hillary, Maryland, Trump has got it with 100% reporting in. Massachusetts, Donald Trump, 100% reporting in. Michigan, Hillary with 
Minnesota, 100% for Hillary. Mississippi, 100% reporting in for Donald Trump. Missouri, Donald Trump, 100% reporting in. Montana, Donald Trump, 100% reporting in. Donald Trump, uh, Nebraska, 100% reporting in. Hillary Clinton takes Nevada, 100% reporting in. New Hampshire, Donald Trump, U.S. Uh, President, New Jersey, Hillary. Uh, I'm just going to go down here and I'm going to let you look at these. We don't like, need to look at the actual numbers because you can clearly see uh, with the little red uh, dot with the arrow who is in the lead. Uh, they always put the person's name first that's in lead, whether it be Trump or Clinton. So we're just going to go down and we're just going to look at these. And as you can see, 100% precincts reporting in, and this is absolutely not possible. There's no 100% reporting in yet. It takes days after the election is even over to get 100% uh, tallies. You can't have it this early. It's not possible. The only way they could be doing this, and these are not projections, by the way, this website this company, worldnow.com, does not do projections. They are a communication software company whose job it is is to send tallies out to all the news stations through their software. That's what they do. They don't do projections. So this is obviously a setup. This company is being given the numbers to put in here to set this whole thing up. And so now on Tennessee, they have 100% reporting in, and it's obvious Trump is in the lead. At, well, actually, Trump and Hillary are, are neck and neck in that one, okay. Um, but you look at these, and they show who's in the lead, like I said, with that little red uh, rectangle with the arrow, and they show 100% reporting in. Now, if it would show, you know, 50% uh, reporting in, you could say, well, okay, yeah, you know, Okay, now we're back to all zeros again down here with 0% reporting in. Um, it's obvious that these things are being manufactured. They're just, I, this company itself, I don't know that they are coming up with these numbers. They, God only knows who they're actually working for. You know, the CIA, Clintons, who knows. But there's no doubt that this is uh, uh, definitely uh, uh, a setup here. So when you look at this and you can clearly see, you know, that they have built these tabulars ahead of time, uh, this is not good. This is not good at all. I mean, this clearly shows that this is a, that they're setting this up ahead of time. Now, who knows that they, you know, uh, you know, how they'll fill the rest of this out. Now, maybe they'll figure out, oops, we screwed up. Somebody's got the website. Let's change it. You know, that might be possible, too, that they might change it, you know, because they realize, oh, people are on to us. Uh, or they might not. Th this just might be the way they'll leave it. Um, I don't know. I kind of think sometimes they don't care if you really know. It doesn't really matter to them. Uh, that's what it almost seems like to me. Uh, otherwise, you know, they would shut this stuff down pretty quick and they're not doing it. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep rolling through. we got a little ways to go yet to the end. But as you can see, they've already created the, the tabular data. Now here, you have the U.S. House of Representatives for the state of Tennessee, District 7, and 100% are reporting in. Well, how's that possible? There's people that don't vote early. There's people that don't like the early vote. They wait till election day to vote, and they go in and vote in person. So you've got these people with 100% polling in, uh, reporting, and yet we're nowhere near election day. What, five, six days away? What is today? Second? Yeah. You know, we had six more days. How could 100% be uh, reporting in on some of these uh, tabulars? That's just not possible. Now, of course, these I'm scrolling through now, there's nobody, uh, there's no data in there. But up above, you saw they were reporting 100%. And that just, that's not possible. You know, they won't, they won't know 100%. You know, they're not going to know 100% until uh, election day. So, 
anyways, let me get the website again so you can see it, ftpcontent4.worldnow.com, and you can read the rest of it yourselves. I don't need to read it all off to you. You guys can figure that one out on your own. Um, here is the, uh, Jones talked about this, and, uh, you know, he showed the wcrbtv.com, uh, but if you go to ftpcontent2worldnow.com and put in all this data here, uh, you, you'll get nothing. It comes up with nothing. You know, that, that comes up with absolutely nothing now if you go to that. Like, um, I can do this. Okay, oh, wait a minute. Um, I can go and I can put in this here. And this will come up with nothing now. So, uh, here's Jones's website where he talks about on InfoWars. Uh, WRCB out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh there's there's nothing there now so um, you could you can go put that in that one right there FTP content two dot world now dot com WRCB uh, forward slash elections forward slash elections dot HTML and there's nothing there now it's I mean it's got a graphic there but it's all zeros so they must have figured it out that you know somebody was looking at it and they're like oops we're busted so anyways, um, you know, that's where that's at. Um, and you can go down here and look at this. Uh, Nezara News and Busted here are the complete uh, web page. And you can look at this and they will, uh, you know, uh, it'll show you all the different things here. And, um, you know, just take a look at it and you can see that the fix is in you know, for Hillary. Now, I will tell you one thing right now. Let, let me see here. I'm going to get this website. There you go. Now you can see what the website is. You can follow up from Jones's webpage or go directly here. Uh, but I want to tell you right now, I don't care if Trump or Hillary gets in. And let me tell you why. This country has got so much trouble, it doesn't matter who gets in. Trump is not going to pay off a $20 trillion national debt. He's not going to pay off trillions of dollars in private debt and corporate debt, including student loans, uh, companies that have borrowed money for small business and can't pay it back, large corporations that are in over their head, especially banks. Trump's not going to fix that. And now he may be honest, but I don't think he is. Uh, I've been looking up a lot of the lawsuits against him, and he has lost some lawsuits, you know, and for some pretty damaging things. Mostly it looks like sexism against women, sexual harassment, groping, uh, sexual misconduct, things like that. So, but the whole thing about, you know, oh, they fixed it for Hillary, I look at it this way. So what? So what? You, you think this is the first election that's been stolen? They stole the election before. They stole it from Gore. And I don't even like Gore. I never did. But I still felt bad for the man because they stole the election from him and gave it to Bush. Gore had that won. And the Supreme Court reversed the results of the election and gave it to Bush. Completely against federal and state law. Completely against law. Supreme Court had no business ruling on that. That is not in their purview to change election results. But they did. And there's, you know, and, and I hate to say it, but John F. Kennedy, he got put in the White House by the mob. If it wasn't for the mob getting the unions to vote for Kennedy, Kennedy would have never gotten in. JFK would have never seen the White House. And then, of course, they had to take JFK out because he didn't do his job and was going to go after, you know, the CIA and everyone else. So they took him out. But, uh, you know, that graphic, go ahead and print that out and save it. Um, you know, from the uh, website, I would. I would just go ahead and just um, save the whole thing. And, you know, you can go in and you can look at the different uh, uh, aspects of the website. And you can find out what it, uh, uh, about it. Uh, uh, view page source code. And that will give you an idea. You know, you can look at the source code and everything. And, um, you know... So, yeah, just uh, go look at that uh, for yourself and see what you're, uh, you can see what you're dealing with. As you can see right there, you know, uh, you know some of the columns are filled out, some are not. Uh, but none of them should be filled out yet because, you know, 
you won't really ever know this data until a few days after the election. The night of the election, they'll be saying, okay, we're pretty sure this is the total, but there may be some precincts that not are that are not going to get all their data in until the next day or even a couple days later. So anyways, uh, there's no doubt Jones was right about this. I, he didn't even find it anyways. It was his producer that found it, and he had been looking for some stuff and found this. So... Um, yeah, there's no doubt that the fix is in, and there's proof of it. So I think Trump can take this to court. I really do, and say, hey, here's this, here's this company that provides uh, election data to all of the. Uh, uh, they provide software and election uh, data to all the TV stations, so they're in sync, and they've already got this five days before the election. Uh-uh. Yeah, uh, we'll see, we'll see if he if he does his job and goes to court and, and deals with this. I don't know if he's going to, but we'll see. Anyways, that's all there is for now. Uh, I'm going to be doing some more videos here. I've got one on a uh, active shooter drill they did in my town. They faked a guy being holed up in his house. They had done it twice in two weeks, and people really weren't buying it. We had uh, kids here from out of town that obviously didn't go to our high school because the schools were all in lockdown and yet these kids were all running around we had a weird guy on a bike and such like you know walking around and when you start talking about active shooter drills he's like oh thank you i gotta go just weird stuff but anyways that'll be in my next video also be looking at my for my series on abandoned places in colorado Ooh, spooky stuff coming up uh, we will see you later. Billy Bedlam 66 signing off. Bye.